Welcome to the Mark Thomas Home Builder Show. In today's episode, we're going to winterize a pressure washer using this particular brand. I'm not sure if I used this before or not. It's a Briggs & Stratton pump saver. And what's cool about this is it says no mixing, stirring, or shaking required. So in the past, the brands I bought required some shaking. So uh, let's do a quick overview first of the things that we need to do before adding this. Check it out. Number one, get your fuel ready for winter. Some people drain it. I prefer to stabilize it. So you can read the instructions on there and either mix it in a can and pour it into your pressure washer or figure out how much you have in your pressure washer tank and add it accordingly. Step two is to run clear water in a bucket and rinse the detergent out. And on my particular one here, I go for the soap one, which is the black one. It'll be this nozzle right here. And that will rinse that, get a clear plastic tube. I don't have it with me right now. It goes from in the bucket, connects to that. And I would rinse at least a gallon, maybe two gallons out. Shouldn't take that long, it moves through pretty fast. Okay, the final step is to screw this in nice and snug into your hose inlet. And this is a smaller pump, so the, all that fluid seems to go through pretty fast and flush out. So I like to just hook up the, uh, the wand handle and just spray it out of the hose. And if there's any water in the hose, it'll flush that out too. So I'm going to open the hose. I'm going to open up the throttle. Throttle. I'm going to open up the trigger on this. And then watch this go in. Maybe you can hear it. There, coming out of the hose. I'll just spray on the floor back here. Yep. That is all of it. All right, kind of foamy stuff. It's a pump saver and protectant all in one. Winterizer. All right, as a home builder, the pressure washer is a tool that is required quite frequently. And I've had this exact one right here, probably a good eight to 10 years. And I've used the same technique every single winter and it's started up and worked every single spring when I need it to. In the springtime, just make sure that you check your oil if it needs to be changed, uh, change that out, or if it's relatively fresh oil, just make sure it's at the right level. And the gas should be all stabilized and you should be all set to go in the spring. So thanks for watching, have a great day.